color views and now it's time to take a look at the ps4 version of mxgp uh, this is a very early version and not representative of the final build there's still a lot of work going into the backgrounds and this is the only test demo stage they have available so far running at a solid 60 frames per second but before i say any more let's hear a bit more from the milestone pr manager daniel casso who will explain more daniel casso the pr manager of milestone and we're here to present today the new MXGP. Actually, it's a new version of the game that we presented last year and we released it this March on PS3, X360 and old generation of console. And this year we are bringing it to the new generation of consoles. Speaking about the release date, it's not confirmed yet, but we're planning to release on October 17th on PS4. We are going to see the new feature right now about what we have implemented in the new PS4 version. Thinking about a new generation of MXGP on PS4, we have started from the base of the past year with the development, with the community feedback, and we start to understand what was wrong, what the community wants, to, of course, implemented all the patch and all the efforts we put in the previous version and improved them. Just to create a list, we have new tracks, red plates, fluid audio and graphics and lighting system, and we will have more riders. Speaking about the four tracks, we will have four new tracks that will complete official calendar. So past year we have only 14, specifically decided to uh, take these four out, but with the PS4 version we included the entirely 18 and Motocross of Nation tracks with Italy, Bulgaria, uh, Czech Republic and Europe. And then we have a new improvements, really, really interesting improvements, such as the following terrain that in the previous title was one of the weakest points of the game. So we start to understand what community wants to all the screens they send to us and improve this feature that of course improves the physics of the games too. We have re complete redesigned the bikes and the riders, including for sure the, the new graphics, uh, and uh, four time power uh, for larger textures. So the riders and uh, you will see the difference between the previous and the new version of the, of the game. Uh, we have new lighting effects and system and after the system. Because starting from MotoGP 14, we have included into our engine Yebis 2. It's a powerful middleware from uh, Silicon Studio. And uh, this new After Effects uh, allow us to completely change and we have a lot of power with uh, with Davis 2. Everything's changed really when you include this kind of middleware inside. But it's, it's not the only one middleware we have included into the game. Uh, we have included F mode used by other relevant publisher and this allows us for example to understand better the behavior of the sound, especially when you run and when you ride into the motocross environment that includes uh, environmental uh, sounds, sounds of terrain of the bike, so it's really powerful and you will see the difference, of course, not here, but maybe in your home with a, a good headset. And we have improved the physics and we have improved the responsive for two stick analogic the one on the left uh, regulate uh, heat of the bike and the one on the right allow you to make pose to direction uh, the bike and you can make some the same tricks that you can make in MXGP such as scrub uh, and the other ones. And of course one of important feedback from the community was about the EA and we have improved them and the behavior of the EA now is more responsive and is more close to the reality. We have included other small features that are quite relevant, such as new cutscenes that with the PS3 and X360 version of the game, we have really, really almost reached the limit of the console. So with the power of the PS4, we had the chance to create a new 3D scenes more closer to the reality and more interesting to see. We will have more riders on the track. We are, our aim is to have 22. It's not close to the game, so we're trying to arrive to have 22, but we will get close to that number that you see. Plus, we have the red plate feature. I don't know if you are familiar with MXGP, 
the world champions of the red plate. It's a red plate that you exhibit during cutscene, during the, the podium session. We have decided to create red plate cutscenes and have the red plate on your bike to show that you are best than the other one. Plus, another interesting PS4 feature is a small one, but it's very cute chance to change the color of the lighting of the, the controller depending on the bike's engine RPM. The last thing is about the DLC pre-order that we have announced a few days ago. We have two exclusive pre-order gadgets uh, with a total amount of four helmets from Fox and UFO are very relevant for the riders of um, and we will start from 14th of August. So far, so good then. You do notice quite a, quite a difference in terms of the handling. You've got to relearn the game all over again. Um, looks uh, and feels far more polished at this early stage. But as I say, it is still very early and you can expect a lot more coverage on the game on the channel uh, in the coming weeks. They'll be looking to have taken all of your feedback and I hope they've taken it all on board uh, and it's certainly the game that many of you uh, want it to be. I enjoyed MXGP anyway, but it'll be interesting to see how they've moved on with it. But that's it from this video on MXGP and there'll be more from me on the channel very soon. <laughs>